Here at Design, we wanted to build a bike that was very unique, very innovative. A, a normal bike can do a lot, but an electric bike can do even more. So that's one opportunity that allowed us to really take the integration of the motor, the battery, and the body of the bike to another level that no other company can really achieve right now. All their folding bikes on the market quickly came to mind. They are driven by a lot of criteria and functional needs that then give them their shape. You know, their form follows the function of the bike. And I just thought, you know, it would be really cool if we could have all of that function, make that function even better, and more simple and quick to use. But at the end of the day, it's not driven so much by its function that it appears awkward or gangly. One latch, one system on the bike releases three other latches on the bike. So you're not going from point to point to point around the bike and releasing all these latches and doing them in the right way. You just pull one lever, boom, three things happen at the same time. And it's unique to our bike. No other folding bike has it. No other folding electric bike has it. And to you, the user, it's really valuable because it makes the bike fold so quickly. It has an eight-speed internally geared hub in the rear end, so you have eight speeds but it's not a derailleur-based system so that the gears are protected from rain and grime. A lot of bikes just fold in half and they just kind of like scissor to the side. And that's, while a really easy, quick way to do that, you also start to sacrifice things like how small you can get this bike to be. You start to sacrifice whether you can roll it on its own wheels. Most folding bikes, you fold them up and you have to lift them. But our bike uses its own wheels and it just rolls right along on those air-filled tires. I'm a big believer in, in, in boldness through simplicity. I wanted the bike to be simple. I wanted it to be kind of pure and honest. The way I saw that happening was just very simply connecting the dots through the bike with this, this simple arch design. Typically small wheel bikes don't absorb bumps and cracks in the street as well. But our bike kind of flexes, it's compliant just a little bit vertically and it kind of takes the edge off of those cracks and bumps in the street and that provides comfort to you as a rider. So, it really is a form follows function design, just used, you know, simple industrial design skill set to make the bike, you know, appear elegant and, and bold through its simplicity. It's one of the best looking bikes out there. We definitely tried to make this look as integrated and as sleek and smooth as possible. But it wasn't styled that way first. We put the user experience first. We put the design of the product first and then all that nice stuff came on the end, like the icing on the cake.